Today we're going to be using Scratch to create an autonomous car. A lot of car manufacturers are trying to create cars with sensors on board that are able to read the road, read all the different conditions and make the decisions on how to drive and navigate through them. So we're going to create a similar type of car with its own sensors, its own track that it needs to navigate around in Scratch. This is a difficult enough project to do, but if you want to see the step-by-step -step instructions, go to 123code.org forward slash F271 or just put in F271 in the project box. Okay, so the project code is F271 and click on start project. So this is going to list the step-by-step -step instructions. As we can see, we've got 10 steps to do here. Okay, so the first step just gives you some information about how an autonomous car works, how it's it's a self-driving car, it's a robotic car, it has sensors and it uses those sensors, GPS and different things to navigate through roads. So there's a little YouTube video here on Tesla Autopilot if you want to have a look at that and that will give you an idea of how it works in real life. Okay, so let's create this new project. So we have a starter project. So in step number two, we have a link to a starter project that has a specific sprite already added to it. So if you click on this link, it'll open up a new tab and it'll open up the Scratch project editor. If you are signed in, click on the remix, the green remix button that will appear in the, in the toolbar and this will create a copy of the project in your Scratch account. So this project already has a car added to it. And if I go into the editor, you will see that there are three different sensors on the car. So it's a bird's eye view of a car looking down on top of it. We've got a red sensor, a blue sensor, and a kind of mustardy yellow sensor. And we're gonna use these sensors to detect where the car is on the track if it's touching the side or if it's on the road and um, we're going to make the car move accordingly move or turn accordingly so let's move on to step number three so we want to place our car on the track so at the beginning we want our car in a, in a specific place and pointing in a specific direction so we want our car just up here pointing to the right so let's add the code so when green flag clicked Zoom in, go to X, Y, whatever the values, so minus 100 and 130, minus 100, 130, let's click on the green flag, okay, so it's just going to start there, and then point in direction 90, which is to the right, so if I click on this, you'll see that 90 degrees is pointing to the right, okay. So next step, step number four, we're going to create a speed variable and we're going to use this to store the speed. So the car is going to go at different speeds depending if it's on the track or if it's on the grass. So we're going to add, we're going to create the speed variable and then we're going to add a set speed to five underneath the point and direction block. So let's go into our variables toolbox, make a variable, type in speed. And we're going to get the set variable to change it to speed and set it to five at the beginning. Okay, next step. So to drive forward. So we've, we've looked at the sensors and we can see that we're going to use those. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a forever block. So we, we're going to forever check if the blue color of the sensor is touching the black of the road. And if it is, we're going to move forward. Um, whatever our speed amount is in steps. So let's go to the control toolbox, get the forever and get the if then, put it inside the forever. So we're gonna check if the color blue is touching the black. So we're gonna to need to go into the sensing toolbox and there's a color is touching color block here and that should go inside as the condition of the if then. Okay, so we want to choose the black of the road. So let's click on this little box in the eyedropper and easy enough, I'll get the black. Now, as you can see, the blue is kind of hard to see because uh, it's quite small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just temporarily make this car a little bit bigger. So I'm going to add a when space key pressed. I'm going to set size to 100%. And let's do duplicate this 
and when A pressed will set it back to it's currently at fifteen percent. So we'll we'll set it back. So space key makes it big. A makes it back small. So big, so I can zoom in on the color. So I want to get the blue of that sensor. The blue, perfect. So that's my block done, and now I'll just put the car back by pressing A. Okay. So if blue, the blue sensor is switching the block of the road move speed step. So motion toolbox for the move block so move 10 steps and instead of 10 steps we want to get our variable speed out of our variables toolbox so let's just click on the green flag what should happen here is it's going to put the car up in this position pointed to the right set the speed to five then it's going to check if the blue of the sensor is touching the black of the road. And if it is, it's going to move forward. So it should keep on moving forward until the blue is no longer touching the black somewhere around here. Let's try it out. So it moves and then it stops. So that works. Okay. So the next step is step number six. So we're going to program it to turn right. So when the red sensor, let's zoom in again, pull this back. So when the red sensor here, starts touching green so just about there we want to turn the car to the right to get it to rotate right so it starts driving around the corner here so we're going to add another if then underneath the previous one so inside the forever but underneath the previous if then so if the red sensor is touching the green of the grass then we're going to make a turn clockwise 10 degrees so i can just duplicate this if then or you can go get them separately if you want i don't need to move speed step so i'll take that out i want to get the red sensor so the red color in the first one and then i want to get the green of the grass in the second one okay we'll make the car back small again and we want to turn 10 degrees clockwise so clockwise is this direction here so let's click on the green flag again it should start here move along but when it gets to the grass here it should start turning right yep there we go and so each time the red sensor touches the green it makes it turn right as you can see the yellow is sometimes touching the green but it's not we haven't programmed that so we need to program the yellow mustard colored sensor to make the car turn left if that touches so that is the next step so to turn left and we're just going to add in again the same code so but different color so if the yellow of the sensor touches the green of the grass this time we're going to turn 10 degrees anti-clockwise so let's duplicate this block of code click on stop I'll get my car big the yellow the green is already in there now I don't want to turn 10 degrees clockwise I want anti-clockwise 10 degrees okay so let's try this out so now oh, let's make my car small now when the car goes round hopefully here it should turn yes so as you can see there when the yellow touches should turn it left hopefully it'll do it here so here just nudges it left okay so now we're going to program the car so we can actually make it go faster and slower so we're going to program the up our arrow to change the speed by one and then we're going to program the down arrow the down arrow to program it by minus one so Let's go into the events toolbox, bring in when space key pressed and change it to up arrow. So we want to make the speed go faster. So change speed by one. And let's duplicate this and this time we'll use the down arrow and change speed by minus one. So now let's start making the car go faster. As we can see, we're up to speed eight still able to navigate around the track but the faster it goes just in real life you lose control and it goes off the track so this time the blue the yellow and the red um, 
neither of them are touching the black and most importantly the blue isn't touching the black here so once the blue is isn't touching the black you're no longer moving forward so the car just stops so what we want to actually do is program it that when this situation happens that the car reverses turns a little bit so it doesn't go back into the same place and then moves on so that's the next step so it's reverse so we're going to add in another if then at the very bottom so it's still inside the forever but underneath the previous if then and we're going to say if the blue sensor is touching the green of the grass so we've run off the track move minus two steps so minus two means we're going to reverse and we're just going to turn it clockwise five degrees so just that, so it doesn't go in at the same angle so it doesn't it doesn't go off the track again at the same place so we can duplicate the if then put it at the bottom but still inside the forever we're going to get the blue of the car so let me make the car big so i can grab the blue so if the blue of the sensor is touching the green of the grass we want to move minus two steps and just turn clockwise or anti-clockwise it doesn't really matter five degrees so let's get the car back down to size and start it off again so it's going around the track fine but we're going to start increasing the speed so we're up to nine so it's we're up to 12 now and as you can see when it goes off it's able just to kind of reverse back into the track swivel a little bit so it's able to go around so let's see how fast we can make it go so we're up to speed 16 as you can see it's going around the track quite fast let's go up to 20. yep still working so i'm sure there's a point where this might work yet yeah, when the car has completely gone off the screen at speed 44 okay so that's the full project it's simple enough project to create a car that has sensors on it and is able to de detect where it is it's able to sense where it is on the road if it's going if it's touching which side and if so then it needs to turn accordingly so if you want you can improve the lesson so if, if you've any different ideas so you could add a second car driving the opposite way you could try and get them to, to detect each other and avoid each other you could add uh, more complicated tracks so if you wanted i think we did this we did a previous scratch video on creating a racing car and extra tracks so if you want you can create a new backdrop so let's create a paint a new backdrop and actually i'll duplicate it from here i will get the green of the grass color and i'm going to fill in the road okay and now we are going to get the paintbrush i think maybe about size 30 and get black i'm going to draw we need to go bigger than 30 maybe 100 maybe a little bit bigger than 100 so maybe 120 and you can create a different track so remember the car does start up around the kind of top middle so let's just start it here just see where that is so it starts around here so i'm going to try and draw a more complicated track so we got some twists and bends and turns here we go so there's the track there so let's click on the green flag oh, it goes in so now what i want to actually do though is i want to be able to program a button on my keyboard to switch between my tracks so i'll just go and just add it to the car so what we'll say is when let's do the letter t for track when t pressed go into looks and next backdrop we'll just cycle through the backdrop so if i hit t now each time i hit t it goes through the backdrops now you see that it does actually it changes the black backdrops while the car is driving so if you wanted what you could do is get oh no not all that we could just get another go to and it's minus 100 sorry there's a typo there i want to fix and 130 
turn and duplicate that. Actually, I only need one. So now, when I switch to track, oh, sorry, I'm after hitting the space button, not the T button. So let's try that again. Now, when I switch to track, the car goes back up and starts at the top. You might want to add in a pointing direction as well, so that it's pointing in the right direction. So you can add in extra tracks. You can maybe add in kind of power-ups or anything like that. So you could draw green arrows, and when your car goes over them, you could set the speed to a faster speed. You can maybe put some blue puddles in here, and when the car goes over those, it needs to go slower and so on. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions or comments, just comment in the video below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to get our weekly coding projects, make sure to click on subscribe. And if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see us make next, just comment in the video below.